Hello grade 2 students. It's been a long time. How are you? Today in math, we will start with lesson 5.4, model and record two digit subtraction. The pages that we will cover are 335 to 340. Let's look at the objective. To draw quick pictures and record two digit subtraction using the standard algorithm. You will now open page number 335 and we will solve listen and draw. Let's look at the question. Mr. Kelly made 47 muffins. His students ate 23 of the muffins. How many muffins were not eaten? So let's find out. In the number 47, how many tens are there? We will draw quick pictures to model each problem. Okay? So 47 has 4 tens. Very good. And how many ones children? It has 7 ones. Bravo. Now, I want you to to focus on this point that I'm about to say. When you're adding, you use and write and show pictures of both numbers, which means you will show 47 and you will show 23. But in subtraction, we will not, because subtraction is about taking away, right? So we'll only write 47, we'll draw quick pictures from 47 and we will try to take away the 23 muffins that were eaten by the children. All right. Now, when we have to start addition or subtraction, do we start with tens or ones, children? We start with ones. Very good. I'm very happy that this is drilled into your brain. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we have seven ones. Okay. So, there are seven ones in the number 47. We got to remove three ones. Can we remove three ones from seven? Of course, we can. Okay. So, we're going to remove three ones. How many ones are we now left with? Very good. We are left with four ones. Now let's look at tens. Okay, we have 47, right? So four tens and the children ate 23 muffins. So we are going to remove how many? Two or three? Very good. Two tens. We have to remove two tens. Three we have already tackled. So we'll remove two tens. Now what are we left with children? We are left with two tens and four ones. So, how many muffins were not eaten? Twenty-four muffins were not eaten. I hope this was clear to you children. Let's look at share and show. Page number 336. Now, what does it say? 47 minus 15. Now, there are two, three things I always want you to focus, children. The first thing is, please remember, whenever we are subtracting, we have to write the bigger number above the smaller number. That's why 47 is written above. This is done in the text already, but as the lessons proceed, you will have to write the numbers yourself or in a Think Smarter question, for example. So, always write the bigger number on top. Okay. The second thing I want you to focus on is the smaller number, which is 15. All right. And now I'm going to say something to you, which I would like you to sit with a paper and a pen and write it down. Okay. This is a rule that you will always use in subtraction. Here is the rule. More on top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. If the number is the same, then zero is the game. Okay. I hope you write it down. If you haven't, then pause my video, go back and write it down again. And you will use this golden words for you to understand the subtraction very easily. Okay. So now coming back to the problem, it says 47 minus 15. So how many tens are in 47? Very good. Four tens. How many ones? Seven ones. Okay. Now here is my million dollar question. Can you remove five from seven? Yes, you can. That's why more on top, no need to stop. 
okay so 7 is bigger than 5 so no need to stop we will straight away go and remove 5 ones all right how many ones are we left with children we are left with two ones so that two we are going to write in this section here all right now we are done with ones don't forget the tens we have to deal with the tens again more on top no need to stop so can we remove one ten from four tens of course we can and this is why we wrote the bigger number above the smaller number right okay so i'm going to remove one ten now children how many tens are we left with bravo we are left with three tens and we're going to write three here was this clear to you children i'm very happy that you understand now there is slightly more complex problem in the next page but i'm sure you are my smart students and you will understand it super quick let's move on so we are still on the same page okay page number 336 now again first thing remember they have written 32 above 18 but what is the tricky part here remember i said more on top no need to stop now look at the ones okay two is smaller than eight okay so we have three tens all right this is very clear to all of you and we have two ones okay now children can we remove or take away eight ones from two no we cannot we don't if i don't have how can we take away it's like saying um, it's like saying I have two chocolates and I have 10 students in class. Can I give eight chocolates out? No, I cannot because I need to have a bigger number, right? So what am I going to do? Remember I told you more on top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So we are going to go next door. Where is next door? You go to your tens section, okay? And bring the tens to one side okay bring the tens to one side and when you do that how many ones you have children okay now see what have i done two tens we are left with two tens we had three tens that's why i removed i strike out three and i write two tens okay now here's uh, take a look at ones what happens when the ten one ten comes to the one section we have ten ones okay so I will remove this and I will put 10 ones for you. Okay, you see 10 ones because we borrowed the tens and when it comes to the one section, it becomes one. Now children, how many ones do we have? If you count all of them together, we have 12 ones and that's why I struck out two and I have written 12 there in the one section, right? So now can you remove now i have now your teacher has 12 chocolates can she give eight chocolates to the children of course she can so go, i got to remove eight so how many shall i remove i'll remove eight ones and what am i left with children am i left with two who said two i'm sorry if you said two you are wrong because you're forgetting that we have two more okay so we have four ones in all we have four ones in all all right now looking at the 10 section we remove another one 10 okay because now you have two minus 10 so we removed one 10 and then what we are left with children when we remove one 10 from the two tens that we have we are left with one 10 so the answer is 14 is that clear to all of you you might get slightly confused in the beginning but if you remember what you have written probably i hope you have in the previous slide then it will help you okay and i will write that um, more on top no need to stop more on the floor go next door and get 10 more if the number is the same then zero is the game this one <laughs> i'm sorry i know i was fast but this one i will also write it to you in the post so that it is easy for you to remember all right children so that was share and show now let's show the teacher what you've understood so on your own you will try to solve number three and four if you are able to solve and if you're enjoying it go ahead and solve number five and six as well when you come to class i will have it marked 
And I think that's all with the lesson. So students, how is regrouping in two digit subtraction like regrouping in two digit addition? In both addition and subtraction, when you regroup, you make a trade between ones and tens. I hope this lesson was clear for you children. I wish you a fantastic day ahead. Bye-bye.